The Duke of Sussex was stripped of his honorary military titles when he and Meghan stepped back from royal life in 2020. Prince Harry has since not worn a military uniform to numerous official engagements, despite serving in the armed forces for a decade and completing two tours of Afghanistan. He did not opt for military attire when he and Meghan attended last week's Trooping the Color Parade, watching from the Major General's office in Horse Guards Parade. Instead, the prince donned a dark suit to watch the military spectacle. The couple was also stripped of their HRH titles when they cut out senior royal duties but retained the use of their Sussex title. But losing the military titles was something Prince Harry, 37, found particularly demoralizing, it has been claimed. Omen Scobie and Carolyn Durand, authors of the Sussex's biography Finding Freedom, wrote that Harry could still wear some medals awarded to him during his years of service, after leaving the military in 2015. They wrote, if his grandmother's validation of his experiences served as encouragement, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. As a retired serviceman, Harry would always be able to wear his medals, but no longer could he wear uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Boss Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy's small ships and diving operations. These roles had come to an end. A source then told the biographers that Meghan had found it incredibly difficult to watch Harry lose these all-important military appointments. The source claimed, that's been a tough pill to swallow, and the one that has been most painful to Meghan to witness him go through. It's the one that made Harry emotional. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex appeared at one public event as the nation honored the monarch's historic 70-year-long reign. Harry and Meghan joined some 40 royals at the National Service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral in London on Friday, June 3. Angela Levin, author of Harry, a biography of a prince, told, The thing that really stood out for me on that day was Harry's anger, he wears his emotions on his face and he looked absolutely furious. He could have been feeling lots of things, I don't know whether he had a wave of feeling at what he had given up. He is self-destructive and might regret what he has lost, maybe he was recalling bad memories and was wishing he hadn't come at all. The couple continued to maintain a low profile over the Jubilee weekend missing a star-studded concert in front of Buckingham Palace on Saturday, June 4. A spokesperson for the couple said the Duke and Duchess were spending the day privately as they marked the first birthday of their daughter Lilibet. The Sussexes enjoyed a private picnic at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor along with family friend and photographer Misson Harriman, who photographed Lilibet in a blue dress and white bow to mark the occasion. Harry and Meghan's low profile over the Jubilee led Sky News Australia's foreign correspondent Annalise Nielsen to claim they had been completely separated from senior royals during the celebrations. She said, This is just a very good example of how they haven't kept the relationship going in the United Kingdom. But they had every potential to play a more significant part in the Jubilee weekend but they really were sidelined. We only saw them briefly at Trooping the Colour in that long grainy photo with their very junior cousins, and then at the service of Thanksgiving where they were completely separated from all the senior royals. That 20 minutes where they had to sit and wait for Kate and Wills, and Prince Charles and Camilla, really put into focus just where they sit in the world. They are outsiders. Lady Colin Campbell claimed the couple had missed a Guildhall reception after the service at St. Paul's because they were worried about only being third-tier royals. Speaking to GB News, she claimed, they are worried their brand has been irretrievably damaged by the fact the whole world knows that they have only third-tier roles, 